16. Stardy hit the lever, runners dispatch from the 1600 meter marker. Euphoria, the favourite, began well. Run forever, he goes off to lead them. Mutley's right there. Red label with a good position shortly after the start. Knights on Broadway is caught very wide with those white blinkers. Hunger Games is just on the inside of that one. And then comes Silver Inspiration, Academy Princess, September Storm. Respect at bay, that's about eight or nine lengths off them and overlaps the trailer, racing about nine or ten lengths off the leader. 1,000 metres to go, Mutley, Hunger Games on the outside, Knights on Broadway, Run for Reveries back forth, the yellow cap of the favourite, Euphoria is perfectly placed, just three lengths off the lead. Red label, Silver Inspiration, Injazard, Respect at Bay, that's got about five or six lengths to make up, Academy Princess around horses, then comes Overlap and September Storm. Homeward bound and the leader is Mutley. Hunger Games, Knights on Broadway. Euphoria just waits with the yellow cap. Only got two lengths to make up. Respect at bay, run for Reverie. Relabel down the inside. Euphoria still under the hands though. Comes forward. Down the inside, injures Art. Red label and down the inside, run for Reverie. But it's Red label and Euphoria over the last hundred. Injures Art's a big runner. And Euphoria is now flat to the boards. And Euphoria still goes those gonna win it euphoria by a length second maybe red label injures art and then overlap number one euphoria Despite that, 60 kilos was best weighted to win. Anton Marcus, the Kahal, Johan Jansef and Firin for Chris Gerber. And Euphoria continues to go. Was traveling so sweetly when they turned for home. It was just when Anton was going to let it go. And then he had to ride it out there in the closing stages. But she wins easily in the end about a length and a quarter. Red label second. Injures out a very nice run back in third position. Fourth place, Overlap, then September Storm, Run for Revelry, followed by Respect at Bay, Mutley was the leader, faded out, then Silver Inspiration, Hunger Games, and they were followed further back by Knights on Broadway, it was very wide in the early stages. So as we look at the head-on, Anton was still sitting with a double handful on Euphoria, and then it comes home well, Steve Stillies and Peter DeMarini, still no stick required, now Anton asks her to run, Red Label is trying to make the race of it, and down the inside is Injazard, and Euphoria continues to go. Ends up then drawing off again in the latter stages to win a length and a quarter, and she records a seventh win from 37 outings. This one bred by Stillies and De Marini and owned by Gerber until the big day next week. The Vodacom Durban July. There's no racing in KwaZulu Natal this week. Craig Peters signing off. Well, the jockey Anton Marcus uh, rounding off a great day at the office. This was the Eightfold Park KwaZulu Natal Breeders 1600 for fillies and mares. And joining us for the winning presentation, Mr. Peter, Mr. Peter Gibson. He's the stallion manager of Eightfold Park, and he's also going to be presenting a stallion service to the winning owners. But first up, let's have the winning jockey, Anton Marcus. And Anton, uh, firstly, having a look at the race, uh, you look to be uh, traveling with a ton in hand. I was these I must congratulate you. You told me this was the best bet on the card. So well done to you. She did, she had a trouble-free race. Uh, Johan was supremely confident, and she, I don't know if you saw her go down, she went down, you know, oh so well. So things just worked out well, these. Johan just telling me that uh, both the front shoes uh, were off when she came into the number one box. Yeah, you know, these sometimes when it's meant to be, it's meant to be. She, she won well and uh, certainly not winning out of place. It's turned out to be a fantastic day for you, Anton. Well done today. Yeah, thank you very much, these. Winning jockey, Anton Marcus. And then the winning trainer is Johan Janssen von Fieren. Johan, you know, 
your horses have taken a bit of time to acclimatize and find their form in KZN, but did they really uh, have come to hand uh, at our last few meetings? Yeah, Dees, thank you very much. I think you're being a bit harsh saying finding their form, because we're still racing in Joburg at the end of sure, April, sure, so sure, we got sure. you a little bit later. And obviously, horses they travel, they're going to need their first runs or so. But they've done really well since they've been here. The horses are looking fantastic, especially this filly. I've, this is the third winter I've trained her, and she's trained off badly both times in Joburg. So we thought we'd bring her to Durban early this season, and she's absolutely flourished since she's been here. She's really taken a while to Durban, and she, I mean, it's for me showing it. She's run some really good races. 1900, probably a bit far for her last time out, but we needed a race in between because she was doing so well. And um, the form from that race stood up. Ashcott came and won the, won the Oaks. So um, I would have been disappointed if we got beaten today. Just having a look at uh, the owners here, uh, Steve Stalis, uh, Pitt uh, Marini, and of course uh, the breeder, uh, sorry, the breeders, uh, Steve Stalis and Pitt Marini, and the owner, uh, Chris Carber. He's had an awesome day today, hasn't he? Yeah, yes, yes, he won the big race. Obviously, nice double for him. And then thank you very, very much to Mrs. Stalis and Mr. Marini. Um, they offered this for, for, to us in training two years ago, and we bought it for 150,000 rand from him, and she's, I mean, she's done incredibly well for us. We're very, very happy, and thank you to them as well. And well done to Chris. Well, the, the, the breeders, the owners, they're all not here, so if you can accept on behalf of them, and I'm told that Peter, who's the manager of uh, the Stallion 84 Park, he's got a free service uh, for your mayor. Speak to Mr. Gerber. Well done to Johan, uh, the winning trainer. That's for the winning trainer. And Peter, if you can please help for the winning owner as well. Uh, that's uh, the winning owner. That's a lovely memento there. And, of course, the winning breeders. And then if you can also hand over that uh, stallion service, Peter, to uh, Johan, he'll get it to Chris, no doubt about that. That's the stallion service, a free stallion service for the five-year-old daughter of Kahal, uh, Euphoria, of course, going to be uh, traveled to, hopefully, to Eightfold Park. And then the winning groom, his name is Zola Mogodwale. He's done an outstanding job with uh, the Euphoria. Well done to the winning groom, Zola. And then the course uh, throughout the day has been handing out uh, these sale vouchers. And uh, the first place is 10,000 Rand, second five, third five, and fourth 5,000 Rand. That's a nice sales voucher for the winning owner. Of course, the Clag, we thank you and your team for putting on an outstanding KZN Breeders Day. Well done to the KZN Breeders. We thank Peter Gibson for coming down and representing his stallion, who is Eightfold Park. Well done to all the winning connections of the ninth and the ninth race the number you'll need number one euphoria that's a wrap of our race meeting it's been a busy afternoon again i must pay compliments to mr Kwester clack who is the chairman of kzn breeders and the entire team for putting on a magnificent show this afternoon and what a lead up this is going to be to this year's vodacom durban july no racing midweek in kzn we'll next see you on the 4th of july for Africa's premier horse racing event. A big thank you to Sheldon and Craig Peters, Raymond Rogers and his team, and of course, we must not forget the hardest working cameraman on course, who is Zane. From myself, Dees Dianan, until Vodacom Durban July Day, take care, Salani Garshley.